you watching this, yes, you right now watching this video, I want you to understand that you did not stumble across this video by accident, okay? You did this, I would like to think that this came about on your timeline, that you clicked on this by divine providence, because you are likely someone who has been struggling your whole life. You've been struggling to find people in within your life to reciprocate your energy and your effort to match basically what you bring to the table in terms of your kindness, compassion, your empathy, your willingness of effort to go the extra mile for people and to do what's right and to be generous. So whether it's the people you're involved with romantically in dating life, relationships you have with friends and family, uh, whatever it may be, the people in your life are just not reciprocating this type of energy. One of the harsh truths of this world is that most people in it, unfortunately, are self-centered, narcissistic. Well, maybe not most people, but a lot of people that we tend to come across. They are narcissistic, self-centered, egomaniacs, and don't get me wrong, I know we all act in our best self-interest. It's just kind of natural inclination as human beings. But as sophisticated, evolved human beings that we are, we should we should possess morals and values and compassion and empathy and the ability to look beyond self-interest and, and you know and to be more considerate and self-aware the one thing that you have to accept and that will give you some sort of inner peace of mind is that you have to let people miss out on you you have to accept that people will probably never reciprocate this type of energy and what you're bringing to the table they're just they're never going to magically learn to give you what you're giving to the world and just turn into this person you know that you are and if you keep expecting them to without setting your boundaries and protecting your inner peace and not saying once in a while hey i'm not going to continue doing favors for this person and driving them to where they need to be every time they ask you or being at their every beck and call whenever they need a favor from you or giving the absolute world to them on a silver platter when they don't even as much as express gratitude or you know go or as i always like to say you cross oceans for this person and they will barely jump a puddle for you. If you never set your boundaries, if you never put your foot down and say like, hey, I'm gonna, I need to look after my own inner peace, I need to, you know, heal myself. If you don't take care of yourself once in a while, you're going to continue to live in this world of suffering and you're chasing the dragon, you're, you're chasing this black hole, this infinite black hole, and you're constantly pouring from an empty glass when you have nothing left to give. And all that's gonna do is erode your soul, it's gonna eat you from within, it's gonna diminish every fiber of your being you have to let the world miss out on you I'll, I'll keep repeating it until it's underscored correctly you have to let this world miss out on you you just have to let people miss out on what you bring to the table you have to accept that people are just not going to meet these expectations and you know this is where our frustration and anxiety and all that stems from because we have these internal expectations because of the people that we are as you know kind compassionate just sophisticated caregivers and a lot of people just are not up to snuff and, and don't reciprocate that energy you don't need to keep these people these relationships with people just for some sort of fulfillment i know that you feel like you do because that's just kind of our natural inclination again as human beings we're searching for love we're searching for fulfillment but if you keep these kinds of people in your life, they're only going to tear you down. And if you keep these relationships, they're only going to erode you and eat you from within, just tear away your soul. You know, I always tell people, life is short. Life is incredibly short. I know it's this cliche, hackneyed phrase that we hear every day of our lives, but like, we truly don't understand how short life is. And like, I, you know, when I started filming this video, there was a beautiful sunset over there and I didn't even get to catch it. It's already gone over the horizon. That's the end of this day. We're never gonna get this day back. We're never gonna get that, that same sunset back. We might see a sunset that's similar tomorrow, but you're never gonna get this one back and you're never gonna get these 24 hours again. And you just have to seize life. You, you only get this youth one time. You only get to be 25 or 20 or 30 one time. You have to seize that opportunity. You have to seize that moment and take not take anything for granted in the slightest. And I, I'm sure a lot of you out there, you feel lost. You feel discouraged. You feel shamed. You just feel anxious. You feel like, am I doing enough? Some of y'all bring so much to the table and you have so much kindness and compassion and willingness of effort. And you just have to let people miss out on you. The people that are going to keep you in these toxic relationships, you just have to let them miss out and i know it natural it's natural inclination to look for that closure and find closure in some sort of evolution of their persona to meet your expectations but it's just it's not going to happen you just have to reach that acceptance to be truly happy and to be truly at peace you just have to learn to let go learn to accept be your own unapologetic amazing immaculate self that's that's it that's the key and i'm not telling you that i've found the key to happiness and i've unlocked the the chest of freaking pandora's box or whatever but it, in terms of my healing and in terms of 
finding some sort of inner peace within myself and being happy and feeling more motivated like i that has helped me so much in my journey is just that reaching that acceptance and and letting people miss out on me because so I've given so much of myself to people, you know, whether it be romantic relationships, relationships with friends that I've had in the past, with family members even as well. You just, you got to let them miss out. You got to reach that acceptance. Move on with your life. Be Continue to be amazing, to be incredible. Don't let this world corrupt you and turn you into somebody that's, you know, that feels slighted and vindictive and breeding resentment all the time. You have to just be your own unapologetic self and just keep all those amazing traits because they are amazing. I know people have probably told you that and you just kind of scoff and say like, well, okay, well, where has it got me? Where, where, how has it benefited me in this life? If it's just people take my kindness for weakness and they utilize me and like some sort of resource, some disposable resource, just this human being that they can take and take and take and take from and just continue to disrespect and denigrate. I understand. I, I know how difficult it is, but you just have to reach that acceptance and, you know, find your own sort of intrinsic motivation to be yourself and surround yourself eventually with people who encompass those same traits of, of kindness, compassion, empathy. And, you know, I, you know some of y'all might still be in these toxic relationships. You might not even know it. You might not even know that you're hurting, that you're suffering, that you're being taken advantage of. Uh, so I invite you to kind of reexamine the life that you're living and the relationships that you're currently holding and just sort of ask yourself, like, am I being treated with the level of respect that I deserve, with the level of, of effort and reciprocation, reciprocity, whatever. Really ask yourself that. And if not, you, you just, you got to cut the bad fruit from the tree. You got to let people miss out on you. And it's okay. It's okay. I, I know it hurts that you've been hurt, but hurt people hurt other people. So don't go hurting other people. Don't go hurting yourself. Be your amazing, compassionate, empathetic self. Don't let people tear you down. Don't let people erode your soul. Don't let people denigrate you to the point where you feel like you, you have to change yet you, you, you become corrupted because you you are an amazing person i know a lot of y'all watching this are amazing people and you're just searching for that sort of closure that sort of reciprocity that you just sadly you're never going to get until you find the right people and you surround yourself with people who are bringing that energy and reciprocating that effort from the jump and, you know, I, I'm i sure it takes a while. Like, I'm not telling you that I found love because I don't believe I have. I have amazing people in my life that I cherish. When it comes to romantic relationships, I sure as hell have not found, you know, that counterpart, that person that's reciprocated effort. And that's OK. For now, I'm letting the world miss out on me. And that's just that's that on that until I reach that, until I find that person that I truly feel that way and reciprocates my effort and my compassion and just what I'm bringing to the table. And doesn't, you know, cause me pain and grief and suffering, then I'm going to let the world miss out on me. And I invite you to do that as well.